Now, it seems like along the way, I've, I've talked to uh, some of the, I guess it's the next generation, maybe a SEALs, mm. a little bit younger than me, maybe 10 years behind me. Mm-hmm. And I guess it's when you were in Coronado that you, you developed a bunch of relationships and mentored a bunch of these, the next generation guys coming up. They all love you. Well, they were wonderful guys. I mean, that's, I, how'd I, I, that, I how'd sure that all come that. about? Well, the, the lifeguarding. Uh, the, there was uh, Sam, Sam was at the beach. Um, uh, Pepper's at the beach. Um, there, were, there were others. Oh, and then Charlie, who was you know uh, Charlie Keating, mm-hmm. who, uh, wow, he he, I've I'd known him because he was a Sony, mm-hmm. and he would come <laughs> over, and uh, he's just this wonderful kid, uh, and he started coming over when he was like 13, 14 years mm-hmm. old, and then and um, so you remember him. Chuck Keating when he was 13, 14 years old. Yeah, because he was coming to Coronado at, for the summer. Right. He would stay at my house. Oh, okay. With Dougie. Well, well, and, how, how, did you, how did you, how'd that happen? I mean, what? well, oh, well, uh, his cousin Bobby and and Mikey were, uh, their names, Wurzelbacher, but they're Keating family mm-hmm. kids. And Charlie was one of their cousins. Got it. One of their 800 cousins, you know, and <laughs> Catholics, you know. So uh, they, uh, but so that's how I got acquainted with Charlie and uh, became a dear friend and wonderful guy, you know, just just a great guy. And and so in the summers, I mean, it's it sounds from talking to some of his friends that you were kind of the reason he decided to go in the teams. Um. I, I'm not aware of that. I, I necessarily, I knew, I oh, well, his dad did call me and said, hey, Lance, uh, Charlie's talking about going in the teams. Do you? I said, couldn't you help? I said, well, I'll do anything I can. I, so I looked at I think I found a name or something. I didn't do much of anything really except refer him to somebody who, who really could help him. And so that's how he got in the teams. And then, But I'm real close with that whole family. Mm-hmm. And uh, and Charlie, uh, who was killed, dad's name, his name is Charlie also. Mm. And he knew about my brother Danny. And uh, so there's uh, – and then Charlie's brother Billy is also in the teams or was in the teams. I think he's getting out. <coughs> uh, knew about my, my brother and so there's a – there's a kinship there mm-hmm. that we we feel as family, and um, we, you know, we we stay in touch. Mm-hmm. And on May, I think it's May third is it, the, when Charlie was killed uh, in 2016. Was yeah, it? Yeah, 2016. He was killed. <clears throat> and so anyhow, Charlie and I, you know, when I go to Rosecrans, I'll take a picture and send mm-hmm. it to him. And and that's one thing good about these damn iPhones, you know, you can communicate, boom, when you want to, you know. Yeah. And, um, so. yeah, he's definitely a, a special guy. I mean, uh, I, w- when he was coming up in the teams, you know, I was mm. in a position where I was teaching land warfare and stuff like that. Oh, so, you okay. know, and so I, I would see faces, you know, I'd see guys. Yeah. Like, but I, unless someone was either really good or really bad, I probably wouldn't remember me, you know, and he was, you know, one of the guys. Like, I I remember this guy, and um, but man, like some of the like the stories you hear about about Chuck is just like he was just a freaking epic guy. Um, yeah. And he's one of those guys. You know, you look at all these pictures of him that you just <laughs> you just know that this guy was just uh, such an awesome guy to have in your platoon, mm-hmm. and he mm-hmm. left such a mark on so many of the team guy buddies of his. And yeah. Uh, got a great thing going now. They got the the C four ranch up here in San right. Diego, which is a, a beautiful place. A bunch of awesome people, and it gives gives guys a place to be able to go and unwind and take their families yeah. and spend time in nature yeah. and all that kind of stuff. So the his his name is is living on, and he's still helping the his his brother seals through that yeah. thing that he's doing. Yeah, I yeah no for sure. It's a great legacy. And um, very worthwhile, and and I know his dad's involved, and then uh, Brooke, his wife, I think is really involved. And so yeah, it's 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 important, it's significant, and that yeah, they found a great piece of property up there, yeah. and I think it, I think it ser- serves a it's filling out the mission in a great way. 